All right, so thank you for joining me for a 60 minute yoga class. We're going to do three rounds of sun salutations and then hop into 26 and two yoga. So for the sun salutations, you'll come towards the top of your mat and bring your feet close together. I'm going to stand back and I'll show you in periphery. Take a moment, feet together, bring the weight into your toes, rock the weight back into your heels, and then just evenly distribute your body weight on both feet as you stand nice and tall in the present moment. You're welcome to set a sankalpa or intention for your class or maybe dedicate your class to a person or idea if that feels good for you. Okay, and we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar A Sun Salute. Bring your hands together at heart center and begin. As you inhale, lift your arms up, looking up overhead as if you're saluting the sun. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Put your hands on the floor and relax your head. Inhale into a halfway lift, flat back. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or eventually the floor in front of you. Stomach in. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank or tabletop. From here, hug your elbows in and lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do baby cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, bend one knee, straighten the other, try to press hips to the ceiling heels to the floor, relax your head, look for your shins behind you. And if down dog does not feel right for your body today, no problem. Come down onto your knees and take a child's pose. Reach your arms forward as you sink your hips down. On your next inhale, hands on the floor, look forward and step forward. Lengthen back into your halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and fold, relax your head down. Inhale, reach your eyes, come on up, arms with your ears, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, two more. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back into your high plank or tabletop. You're welcome to skip the vinyasa and go from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose or hug your elbows in, lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, either down dog or child's pose. So for child's pose, forehead to the floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down to your heels. For down dog, heels down, hips up, relax your head. Spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb, so you're not putting all of your body weight onto your wrists. On your next inhale, look forward and step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, come on up, arms with your ears, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, last one, inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, hips up, down dog. For your last down dog, try to get heels on the floor, maybe taking a slightly wider stance. Lift your kneecaps up, press your heels down, relax your head, look for your shins behind you. Take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, root to rise, come on up, arms up, looking up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Wonderful. From here, we will hop into 26 and two yoga. Come to the middle of your mat space with your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate. Meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. HA, sound head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up to the ceiling. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. 
Look way, way, way back through the wall behind you, arms forward, elbows touch, pointing forward. Inhale, sweep your elbows out and up, slowly chin down, look straight ahead, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, squeeze your palms together, wrists together, forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, just the neck and arms are moving, shoulders down and chest up. Exhale, head up. So just your head drops back. No backward bending. Keep shoulders over hips, hips over heels, weight in the heels. Inhale, head down. As you inhale, suck your stomach in. Depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, head up. Even as you exhale, stomach in, eyes open, look back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer. Elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs, good. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs lock, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, knuckles underneath your chin. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine. And begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathing in through the nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly look back, slowly stretch your arms forward, elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, head down, breathing in through the nose, down through the throat, all the way to the bottom of the lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far. Chin down, elbows up, stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Most relaxed exhale so far. Slowly head back, eyes open, slowly arms forward, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down, last breath. Second set, make it the deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. Half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. I'm gonna move back a little bit. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Nice tight grip, stretch up and bend right and left. Right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, try to stretch up out of your waist. Good, come to stop in the middle. Half moon pose, bring the weight into your heels. Contract your quadricep muscles and push your hips a little forward. Squeeze your palms together, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up. Out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows or knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day. There's no rush, know where you have to be, nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide as you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, 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 change. Inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall and slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right. Come down without bending your elbows or knees. Keep the weight in your heels, press your hips a little forward and lean your upper body back. Keep your biceps with your ears. Push your right hip a little forward, keep your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward to the top of your mat. Open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push and push and push. Change, and heel to come up. First back bend of the day, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head all the way back, maybe give it a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. Bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, go down. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head, go for a walk. 
Move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padastasana, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or eventually your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers. Everybody roll forward like a wheel and wrap your elbows back behind you. Try to touch elbows together behind you. Keep the knees bent at first, touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees, let your head hang heavy, eventually face to the shins below the knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to stretch your spine. Good, change, come on up, arms with ears, knees can bend. Very nice, arms down, and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, hips forward, arms back, stretch tall, and slowly bend to the right as you press your hips to the left. It's worth noting that I'm not mirroring you, so it might look like I'm bending to the left, when in fact I'm bending to the right. You are welcome to follow my words or my body, either way, just know that in general we do the right side first. So push your hips to the left, stretch your upper body to the right, come down, push, and push, and push change. Inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. And we're doing a 60-minute version of this class today. The traditional version is 90 minutes, so in this version, postures go pretty fast, right? Relax your jaw, lift your chin, keep the weight back in your heels, squeeze your palms together, come down, push, and push, and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener. This is the only posture that I'm not able to talk and do at the same time. So I'll talk you through it and I'll try to show you as well. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head all the way back, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and now bring your arms back with your ears. So notice if knees or elbows are bending, lock your legs, push stomach, thighs, hips forward, and then push your arms back, biceps with ears, bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, go down, put your hands on the floor, relax your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. Notice what's a little bit more loose in the second set, what's still a little tight, there's no right or wrong. Second set, Padastasana, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from behind. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Eventually the legs will straighten. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. For today, think about sliding your upper body down your lower body. Like you're gonna hook your rib cage over your knees, roll forward more, hips up more, shoulders up more, elbows in more, stomach in more. Try to lock your legs. Good, change, come on up. Arms with ears, knees can bend. Nice, arms down, and you let that go. Upward, Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance, not a super big step, insides of your feet parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. From here, start to lean your upper body back. Lift your chin up, chest up. Lean back, fall back, way back. Try to fall down backwards at the end. Good, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward, lean back. Spread your toes wide. Now come up all the way on your tiptoes like a ballerina. Stretch up first. Bend your knees and sit down. So we're starting to play around with balance here. Keep lifting your heels to the ceiling. Stretch your spine to the ceiling. Sit down one more inch. Sit down into a chair, but don't sit below chair level. Change. Inhale to come up. Last part. Squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come just a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. Stop whenever you want. You can stop right here or keep sitting down. You're always welcome to put your hands on the floor to help you in. Otherwise, you just stop when you're a half inch off your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest, and change. Slowly push the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Keep your jaw and shoulders relaxed. Second set, step your right foot to the right. Hip width distance, not too big of a step. Insides of your feet parallel, I'll show you from the side. Arms up parallel to the floor, triceps tight. Stomach in, bend your knees. Sit back and down into a chair. So in the first part, you wanna stick your butt out and you can really fold forward if it helps you sit down more from here. 
Stomach in, start to lean back. Keep the shoulders back, chin and chest lifted. A little bit more weight back into your heels. Lift your chin up, chest up. Change, inhale to come up. Keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward. Spread your toes wide. Come up all the way on your tiptoes. So stretch up, abdomen in, bend your knees, sit down. Push your big toes down. Lift your heels up. Keep triceps tight. Stomach in, chest up, sit down. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, squeeze knees together. Let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down to a count of 10 in your head. Slower you do, better you do. That's where you gain the strength, the balance, the control. Stop when you're a half inch off your heels. Lift your chest, it's a very proud posture. Drop your shoulders, triceps tight, fingertips active. Change, slowly come up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana, look at your arms. Identify which arm is right, which arm is left. Don't mix them up, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swing your right arm under left arm, right elbow under left elbow. You can grab shoulders, interlace fingers, or if hands in prayer, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Stay down there and bring your right leg over your left leg, right leg over left leg, nice, as high as possible. Cross your legs each other, twist like ropes, try to wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head. We'll do the left side. Bring your left arm under your right arm, left elbow under right elbow, cross first to the elbows, again at the wrists, palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Stay down there and bring your left leg over your right leg, left leg over right leg, cross twist and eventually Wrap your left foot. Bring your knees to the left and upper body to the right. Relax your face. Sit a little bit lower. Bring your upper body back. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head, sack and set. Swing right arm, under left arm, cross first at elbows, again at wrist, thumbs towards the face, pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Stay down there and bring your right leg over your left leg. Think hamstring over quadricep, cross twist, Continue to breathe slowly in and out through the nose. On this side, knees to the right, upper body to the left. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knees, knees over ankles, weight in your heel, lean your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head. Last one, left arm, zoom, under right arm, pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back and bring your left leg over your right leg. Notice if your hands are going way to the right of your face, Bring your hands to the left, back to center, and then pull the right shoulder down. Knees to the left, upper body to the right, sit down more, lean your upper body back. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time. You can grab a sip of water here if you want. Cheers. Cheers, friends. So lovely to be here with all of you. Okay, hey, Michael. Okay, so we will continue with standing head to knee, Dande Mana, Johnny Shirasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Point your toes, flex your toes. Keep your toes flexed back to your face, stomach in. Start to round down and eventually pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. Standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee. If you've been coming for a while and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble, inhale slowly, gently, lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until it's exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs lock, start to bend elbows in and down. So you wanna touch your elbows to your calf muscles, bring your chest down more, one day elbows go below your calf muscles, lock your leg, Lock your leg, lock your leg, change. Nice doing it, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg. I'll show you this one from the side. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot. Lift your left thigh up, point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back, abdomen in. Option to stay here or as you're ready, start to round down and eventually pick up your left foot. Now at first, you know, where one day you might have your thigh parallel to the floor, but if your back is a little achy today, you can always start super lifted with your knee and your chest. 
From here, lift your right knee cap up. And when you're ready, lift your left leg. It's a real kick. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. You're training your Achilles to stretch. If your right leg is bending a lot, posture hasn't started. Rather than thinking about pushing your standing knee back, think about lifting your hips up until both legs lock, and then start to bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles, stomach in. One day elbows go below the calf muscles, lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee, change. Slowly reverse out. You can put your hands on your back and do a little back bend, oh, or an even, oh. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, suck your stomach in, round down, pick up your right foot, concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. When you're ready, here we go, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, then slowly tuck your chin to your chest and put your forehead on your knee. Hold where you are for five, hold, four, three, two, one. Change, slowly reverse out, just the way you went in. Good, last one, shift your weight to your right legs, contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh, lift your left leg up, toes back, abdomen in, start to round your spine. Go forth and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, keep the inner thigh and outer thigh contracted, evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot, and here we go, lift your left leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, hips forward. Slowly tuck chin to chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Take your time as you reverse out. Good for you. Standing bow pulling pose. Dande Amana, Tanarasana. Feet together. Bring your right hand up. Out to the right, palm faces the ceiling. Give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Woo, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, knees together. Bring your left arm up and all the way back of your ear. Lock your left leg, point your right toes. Take a deep breath, stretch up and go for it. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up, looks good. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. From the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade, scapula coming out of the body. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Change, slowly come out, that's awesome, Mario. Let's do the other side, bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Show you from the side, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle. Now notice if your hips are lifting up, right? Press your left hip forward and down. So you start with your hips in line, bring your right arm up and back with your ear. Lift your chin, lift your chest, stretch up and go for it. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. Reach the right shoulder forward. Relax the left shoulder back. Try to keep your hips in line. It's really hard. I'm right there with you. So you want to drop the left hip down and then reach the right shoulder forward. So it's the spine moving rather than the hips opening. Keep the right quadricep muscle contracted. Jaw relaxed. Chin away from your chest. Get a deep back bend. Bring the body down. Leg up. Reach right shoulder forward. Kick kick, kick. Good. Change. Slowly kick yourself up. Good for you. Second set. Bring your right hand up. Out to the right. Reach back. Pick up the inside of your right foot. Knees together. Left arm up and back. Squeeze your left thigh. Point your right toes. Take a breath. Stretch up and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Go slow. All five fingers together. Thumb with your index finger. Palm of your left hand faces the floor. Get your left arm parallel to the floor. On this, on this side, left shoulder forward, right hip down. Bring the belly down. Keep the chin and chest lifted. Body down, leg up. Kick, kick, kick. Change. Good for you. Slowly come up. Last one. Bring your left hand up. Out to the left. Reach back. Pick up the inside of your left foot. 
at the ankle, knees together. So you wanna start with your hips in line, right arm up, one day arm behind your ear flap. Lift your chin, lift your chest, stretch up, and slowly swipe your right arm along the profile of your face as you kick your left leg back and up. Point your big toe to the ceiling. Keep your chin and chest lifted. So it's all about lifting everything up, even as you come down. Belly button coming down, but everything else lifting up. Keep your chin and chest lifted. Touch the big toe to the ceiling. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Change, gorgeous wrinkles, slowly come up. Come to the back of your mat and towel, Tula Dandasana, balancing stick, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back. Step your right foot forward, a big step. Lock both legs, point your left toes, and slowly tilt like a seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor. From the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, 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 change. Left foot down. Right foot back, lean back and puff up your chest. Step your left foot forward. Take a moment, shift your weight to your left foot. Lift your right big toe off the floor and now tilt. Actively charge your body forward. Chin forward, chest down, heel up. Heel up, chest down, chin forward, stretch. Change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Hold still for one breath. Just noticing the quality of the energy in your body. Soothing the mind with the breath, not the other way around. Second set, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, step your right foot forward. Shift your weight to your right foot, lift your left foot off the floor, and now tilt. Charge forward, stretch back. Like Think like a human tug of war. Chest down, chin forward, heel up, heel up. Heel up, stretch, good, change, left foot down, right foot back, last one, here we go. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes and tilt. So try to press the right hip down, it's so hard. Keep your two hips in line, I'm right there with you. Right hip down, right foot a little to the right, sole of right foot flat to the ceiling, biceps of the ears, stretch, 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 change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down, enough of that. For the next three postures, we will be on two separate legs. You are welcome to come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat. I will continue to face you. Standing separate leg stretching. Dande Mana Vikatha Pada Paschimottanasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right. Big step, arms down parallel to the floor. You can either point your toes forward or turn your toes in a little bit. Lift your thighs, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Good. This is a great posture to stretch your hamstrings and your spine. Grab your heels from behind. If you can't grab your heels, you can also start by grabbing the outsides of your feet to pull and stretch. Or if you have tight knees and hamstrings, you can even start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Roll forward like a wheel. Bring the weight of your body into the balls of your feet. You could almost lift your heels off the floor. From here, actively lift your hips up, contract your quadricep muscles, Lock your legs. If you've got a grip on your feet, pull, stretch, try to touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up, take your time. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Turn your right foot out and take a bigger step, wider step. Bend your right leg and sit down as low as you can. One day right leg will make a 90 degree angle, upside down L like Linda. Stay down there and move your arms. Right elbow in front of the knee. Hover your right fingers just above your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor, stomach in. Look up to the ceiling. Lift your left shoulder. Touch your shoulder and chin together. Drop your left thigh down. Push your right knee back, turn. Twist upper body back like spine twisting posture. Lock your left leg, left foot flat on the floor. Good, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg. Right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. You might need to take a slightly bigger or smaller step if it helps you to sit down. Lean back and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee. Stretch down, hover your left fingertips just between your big and second toe. Now stretch up and look up. Push your right hip forward and down. 
Push your left knee back with the help of your elbow. Reach the right shoulder up a little bit more. Sink the right hip down. Turn, twist upper body back. Lock your right leg. Right foot flat on the floor. Good for you. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes in. Standing separate leg head to knee pose. Inhale, arms up, palms together. Just cross your thumbs, maybe a little bit of a smaller step. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. If you're on the long side of your mat, you will face the back of your mat. Turn your back toes in, and then you can push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Round your spine, suck your stomach in. Try to touch your forehead to your knee. You can bend your front right leg as much as you need. Try to touch knee and head together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Good, push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, left hip forward, left shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, make sure you still have a big step, three to four feet between your feet. Turn your back toes in, and then push your right hip forward until your hips are in line. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Round your spine. So round, scoop, curl, tuck, concave, chin tuck to chest again. You can bend your front leg. You might need a slightly bigger or smaller step. Just try to touch your knee and head together. Stretch your fingers beyond your big and second toe. And every time you exhale, pull your abdomen in even more. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Second set stretching right away, arms overhead. Step your right foot to the right, big step. Toes in, heels out, chest up, swan dive forward. Going down with a flat back, weight in your toes from the beginning. If you can, grab your heels or the outsides of your feet, bend your elbows back. Elbows to calves, shoulders to ceiling, belly button to spine, roll forward and touch your head to the floor. If your forehead's already touching the floor, take a smaller step. If your forehead's nowhere near the floor, take a bigger step. Everybody roll forward, hips up, knees back, pull, stretch, touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up, take your time. Second set, triangle, turn your right foot out and take a bigger step. Most of us want to take a wider step here. Good. Bend your right leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can, lean back, and move your arms. Notice if your left knee is bending or the ankle wants to turn in. Try to keep left foot on the floor and left thigh lifting up. If you feel like your feet are sliding apart, try to squeeze your heels back together. Feet stay in place, but that's the inner thigh strength we want to engage. Lock your left leg. Keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your leg. Right toes in, left toes out. Make sure your heels are in line, not crisscross. Good, bend your left leg and sit down. So you can press your right hip forward towards your left knee. If it helps you sit down more, lean back and move your arms. But you also wanna move left shoulder forward, right shoulder back so you start to open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Drop right thigh down, push left knee back, look up and stretch up, turn. Twist up your body back, stomach in, lock your right leg, right foot flat on the floor. Good for you, change. Move your arms, straighten your leg, left toes in, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, maybe other thumb on top, go wild. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Turn your back toes in, push your hips forward, 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 stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your right foot all the way down. Try to keep the left leg straight and engaged the whole time, but front foot, front leg, I should say, should bend. Can bend, bend your right leg, touch your knee and head together. Bring maximum weight to your right front leg, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push forehead into knee a couple times, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, Biceps with ears, 
head up last. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. I'll show you from the front. You want heels in line, but not crisscross, right? That would make it really hard to balance if your heels were crisscross. Okay, turn back, toes in, and then push right hip forward, right shoulder forward. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Balance challenge, try to keep your hands together the whole time. Chin tuck to chest, round your middle spine up towards the ceiling, touch your forehead and knee together. It's a compression posture. We're compressing, squeezing into the front of the body as we round and stretch the spine. Push forehead into knee, contract both quadriceps, lift your kneecaps, hands together, change. Right hip forward, go slow. Arms with your ears, take your time, head up, last. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat and towel for tree and then toe. Walk your left leg and lift your right leg up, all the way up. Hold onto your foot from underneath the foot with your left hand. Touch your heel to your costume so the sole of your right foot is flat to the ceiling. This is a great way to train your hips and your knees to sit in lotus pose one day. Bring your right hand up, and if you can balance, left hand up. Option to stay here or float a toe stand. Stomach in, start to fold forward. Hands to floor, you wanna lean forward first, the weight is in your arms. Lift your heel, once the weight is in your arms, keep leaning forward, bend your knee, and sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Press your right hip forward, drop your right knee down, you wanna keep your two hips, two knees in line, point your right toes. Left hand up, right hand up, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or reverse out. Lift your hips to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward, coming out just the way you went in. Beautiful, change right leg down, squeeze your right thigh, and lift your left leg up. Heel to costume, let your left knee drop left hand, and if you can balance right hand. This is a nice posture where you might find you're not symmetrical. So on this side, my foot falls a lot. So I'm gonna hold on to my foot the whole time. If your foot's sliding a whole bunch, you can hold on to your foot too. Just make sure you're never forcing your knee. You can stay here or toe stand. Pick a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you and fold forward. So looking to one spot helps with balance, concentration, focus, meditation. Lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. So on this side, Point your left toes, drop your left knee down, two knees in line, and move your left hip a little forward so that both hips point towards the front of your mat. Left hand, right hand, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up and push your hips forward to come out just the way you went in. Good for you, change, left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, Savasana, I'm gonna adjust our camera angle ever so slightly. Okay, so we're on the floor for the rest of class. Lie down on your back, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Heels together, toes fall open. Okay. Heels together, toes fall open, arms down, close to your sides, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing, normal, slow inhale, and even slower exhale. Pavana Mukhasana, wind removing pose. Lift your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin just below the knee, nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Pull down extra hard. Maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change. Right leg down. Left leg up. Pull your knee out and down and hold still. Try to keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle does not naturally touch the floor, that's really normal. Try flexing your right toes back to your face. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows, each other. Give yourself a really big hug for practicing yoga today. Good for you. Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor. Without lifting your head, look down the center line of your body. Eventually or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down, 
and eyes open, slow inhale, even slower exhale. Second set, right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top, grab your right shin, pull your knee out and down towards your armpit. It is easy to overdo it. Notice if you're rolling way to the right, try to anchor your left shoulder, left hip, whole left side of the body on the floor. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Notice if your foot is crossing the center line of your body, bring your left foot a little to the left, maybe right foot a little to the right. So shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, run parallel to your spine like train tracks. Change left leg down. Remember trains, both legs up, grab your elbows, each other, give yourself a really big hug. So if you can't grab your elbows, grab your elbows. And if you still can't grab your elbows, at least you tried, right? Because one of these days you will and it'll be oh so sweet. But if you don't try, then you'll never know. Squeeze knees together, head on the floor, look down the center line of your body and take a slow breath. Release, change, arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, any back pain today, history of slip disc, skip the sit up, roll off to the side, meet us on your stomach. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Good, turn, lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders so your fingers point forward. Bring your feet together like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch, lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor, use 100% back strength, good. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor, the rest of your chest is in the air, beautiful. Elbows stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle, like a rectangle. Roll your shoulders back and down, press elbows down towards hips. Don't forget about your cobra tail, keep your feet together, good. Toes, heels touch, lock your legs. Push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up. Chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up, good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open, slow inhale, and even slower exhale. Second set, chin forward, cobra pose, hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, elbows point up, feet together, lock your legs, look up and lift. So this is the first of four postures that we do on our stomach. It's called the spine strengthening series. When we lift up from the floor, we start to wake up the muscles in the back. So especially in this one, push your hands down, push your feet down, lift your chest and feel your back muscles start to engage. Good. Change. Slowly lower down. Look to the left, right here on the towel, arms down, heels fall open. So you know at the gym you have like leg day or arms day, but I say in like 26 and 2 yoga, every day is spine day, right? We work on our back health every single day. Locus Shalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arm straight position, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you as best you can. One day pinky fingers touch. If your thumbs are touching, flip your palms the other way, palms face the floor. Eyes open, chin forward, lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90, good. See the foot come directly over the top of your head, lengthen to lift, stretch your big toe to the back wall and lift your thigh up, change, right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Imagine you're drawing a line up the back wall, use your left big toe, stretch the big toe back and lift your left leg, change, left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, spread your shoulders apart, press shoulders down to the floor, squeeze your butt, mouth down, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, come up, everybody come up, roll forward, press your forearms and hips together for leverage, roll forward, shoulders down, mouth down, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, lift your thighs up, good, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out, look to the right, and breathe. When you release the arms from underneath the body, you release the tourniquet effect with an elevated heart rate, fresh blood rushing through the knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Slow inhale, even slower exhale. Second set, chin forward, arm straight position, flip your palms down, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you, 
never force the body though. One day arms underneath the body, doesn't have to be today. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up. So um, if this posture is uncomfortable for you, you are in good company, or at least you are in my company. A little bit of discomfort or uncomfortability is okay, but we're never going to a point of pain. Change, right? Like, yeah, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. One leg is just practice for two legs. See how high you can lift your left leg. Anatomically, this is how high you can lift both at once. Stretch big toe back, change. Left leg down, grand finale, tuck your chin, mouth on your mat, maybe kiss your mat, Mwah. bring your arms a little closer underneath you, gross. Squeeze your feet together, toes, heels, touch, lock your legs, point your toes, lift both legs up. So make sure you're pushing down through your knuckles, not just your wrists. Press down through your shoulders rather than your chest. Triceps tight, roll forward, lift your thighs up. Good, change, lower down, bring your arms out, look to the left, slow inhale. Even slower exhale. Heart rate lifted. You are so very alive. Full locus, pranishal, basana, chin forward. Arms out to the side, like airplane wings. Feet together, toes, heels, touch. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift arms, body, head, legs. Everything lifts off the floor so good. 747 taking off. Just your hip bones on the floor. The rest of your body is in the air. Beautiful. Look up towards the ceiling where your eyes go. Body knows to follow. This posture is so good for strengthening your back and opening through the shoulders and chest. So lift your thighs up. Chin up, chest up, look up. Come up a little higher at the end. Good. Change. Slowly lower down. Tuck in your wings. Look to the right. Slow inhale. You know what to do. Even slower exhale. Soothing the body, soothing the mind through the breath. Second set, chin forward, arms out, feet together, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Try to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. True for all of these postures, right? You don't want to drop your head all the way down, but you also don't want to jam it all the way back. Spread your arms apart, keep your feet together, lift your thighs up, chest up, look up, push it points down, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the left, maybe bring the chin closer to the shoulder. Then chin to shoulder is a little bit easier in triangle and standing bow tomorrow. Hmm, Dhanurasana floor bow, chin on the floor, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below your toes, thumbs with your index fingers. Point your toes, squeeze your buttons, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Here we go, continuously keep kicking. Nice, without stopping, without intermission. This posture is a great back bend. It's a nice shoulder opener. And hey, it's good for digestion too, right? You're freezing, holding still between ribs and hips. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, get your thighs off the floor. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, take a breath. Take another breath, good, just for good measure, right? Why not? Go again, second set, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, just two inches below the toes, squeeze your buns, point your toes, you can do it, look up and start to kick into your hands. You've got it, point your big toes up to the ceiling, eventually you'll let the shoulders roll back and open. Notice if your knees are way wider than your hips, bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, looks good, hold on tight, look up, kick, kick, Kick. Good, change lower down, look to the left and let that one go. Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up, come to the top of your mat and towel, fix firm, Supta Vajrasana. I'll show you the first set from the side, starting in tabletop, open your knees, open your feet and start to walk your hands back. Now, if you have tight toes, ankles or knees, you might not get very far. You can stop with your hands in front of you beside you or even behind you. Eventually hips to the floor in between your heels. If you can sit between your heels, then put your hands on your feet. Right elbow down, stopping anywhere you feel a point of pain. Left elbow down, knees never come off the floor. Head back, head to the floor. Tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor. Arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips but never a point of pain. Good, change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up. 
head up last, turn around, Savasana. So one of the things I'm trying to work on in my personal life is practicing gratitude without practicing toxic positivity. And if you've never heard of the term like toxic positivity, it's exactly what it sounds like, right? Like you could be in the middle of the pandemic and your girlfriend would be like, yeah, but you have your health, right? As if nothing else matters. So we're trying to find this sweet spot, or at least I am, and I might invite you to as well this week, of practicing gratitude, right? Being thankful for your breath, for this opportunity to practice yoga, but also being realistic about, you know, what's going on in your life, what's going on in the world. The cool thing is you can do both at once. It doesn't have to be one or the other, right? It's not so binary. You can be all those things at once. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. And in yoga, there are so many yes and rather than no but opportunities. So open your knees, open your feet and start to walk back. This might be as far as you go, yes, and you're still getting a stretch, right? That's the goal. Eventually, sit down between your heels, never forcing the body, palms to soles, right elbow, left elbow, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows and hold. If this is easy, slide your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, turn around, Savasana. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Come to the back of your mat and towel for half tortoise Ardha Karmasana. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms overhead, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Stretch up, chin away from your chest and go down. Option to put your hands on the floor to help walk yourself in. Otherwise, forehead to floor first, little fingers to floor, palms in prayer, just thumbs crossed. Tilt pinky fingers down. Try to get elbows and wrists off the floor. As you inhale, slide pinky fingers forward. As you exhale, sink hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come on up. Arms with ears, good. Arms down, turn around. Savasana, slow inhale, slow exhale. Legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Good, come to the back of your mat and towel, second set, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, stretching the ankles, arms overhead, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and go down. Try to go slow. It's where you get the balance, the strength, Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Try to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. So your chin isn't like tucked to your chest, but it's also not too far forward. Just a nice long spine. Good, change, slowly come up. Nice, arms down, turn around, Savasana. A friend of mine always talks about how she gets this lovely, almost like chiropractic adjustment in that posture where her neck will like pop, but in a good way. And I've always been like, ah, oh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Like that's never happened. But here's the thing. My experience with these yoga postures is very different from your experience with these yoga postures is very different from your friend's experience, right? We're all relating to the same postures, but our experience, not just body to body, but day to day, class to class can be wildly different. And I invite you to dig into that, right? And like enjoy those differences, even within your own experience, your own postures over time. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, um, this is not Groundhog's Day, right? If the postures feel the same every single time, uh, look around for, for Bill Murray, because like something has gone wrong. Come to the top of your mat, open your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. I'll show you from the side. Put your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open, look up. Lift your nose, lift your chin. Eventually head goes back. Eventually go back halfway, freeze in the middle. You can keep your hands on your back the whole time or if it feels good, if you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. 
If you cannot grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your back. It is safer for your spine. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. Good, change. Put your hands on your back, push up, head up last. Turn around, savasana. If that posture makes you feel some kind of way, dizzy, nauseous, lightheaded, heavy-headed, maybe like really sad or, or weepy or really giggly or silly, whatever it is, that's normal. We're releasing some tension from the front of the body and that can kind of come out in some weird ways. So if this posture makes you feel a little bit weird, you're normal. Uh, if this posture doesn't feel anything, you're weird. Legs together, arms over your head, just kidding. Tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Come to the top of your mat and tall, second set, open your knees a little bit wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your back. I'm gonna face you guys, keep your eyes open and slowly go back. Take your time. You can keep your hands on your back the whole time or when you're ready, grab your heels. So one of my favorite things about like yoga and particularly um, the style of yoga is like, think about it right now, there's people doing this exact same posture at this exact point in the sequence, like all over the world, right? Pretty cool. So whatever you feel in this posture, um, I promise somebody has felt it before. Again, I promise like there's nothing wrong with you. Nobody's told you this yet today, there's nothing wrong with you, but there's also nothing wrong with you trying postures or trying postures in new ways or for the first time. Change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, turn around, Savasana. And you know, in an increasingly isolated world, and in this case, it's okay that we're isolated, right? It's actually like a loving, healthy thing to do to stay kind of separate from one another. But sometimes like we really start to feel alone. And you know, that's why I love group Zoom yoga, but even just if it's not a regular class, like do a child's pose, do a camel pose. And just remember, there's, there's no way that you are the only person doing that posture at that time, right? There's too many people who practice yoga. So if you're ever feeling super lonely again, like hop into child's pose, do cobra pose, something like that. And just think like there's at least one other person somewhere in the world doing that exact same pose. We're not, we're not so alone. We're not so different. Let's keep going. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Come to the middle of your mat and towel, rabbit, sasangasana, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, so it's a full palm grip on your heels. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down, chin to chest, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze heels together, press your feet down, lift your shoulders up, suck your stomach in, round your spine. Good, change, hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, head up last, turn around, savasana. Take a slow inhale, slow exhale. Do again, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, second set, rabbit, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Try to feel each and every vertebrae moving, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, lift your shoulders up, squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, round your spine. Good, change, hips down. Slowly uncurl, head up last, very nice, turn around, savasana. Almost to the end, sometimes toward the end of class, we start to think about like, well, what comes after class, right? And that's really natural. But if your mind has started to wander to something not pertaining to the present moment, I invite you to keep your mind with your body, if only for a few minutes longer, fostering the mind-body connection. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Okay, come to the middle of your mat and towel. We're gonna do one set of head to knee with stretching. Right leg out, just one set. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, a 90 degree angle. Inhale your arms over your head, stretch up. 
Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. You can bend your right leg as much as you need. Touch your knee and head together. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing, flex your toes back towards your face and bend your elbows down to open shoulder blade scapula. Left elbow down, stomach in, left shoulder down, eyes open, rolling to the left. So both shoulders are opening equally the same. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in. Stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. So at first you wanna start with a bent leg right, to make it easy to touch knee and forehead together. If it's easy to touch your knee and head together with a bent leg, keep going. And if it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a straight leg, keep going. Lock your leg, bend your elbow, suck your stomach in, right elbow down, right hip down, right knee down, roll into the right. Good, change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here and stretch up. Otherwise, lay down, let your spine realign and sit up. <sighs> for Paschimottanasana stretching. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, and start to scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left. So in head to knee pose that we just did, we rounded our spine to compress our abdominal wall. In stretching pose, we wanna stretch our spine to stretch our abdominal wall. So both sides of the core are nice and long. Knees can stay bent at first to help you keep your back flat. Just think about hooking your ribs over your knees. Eventually, legs will straighten, stick your butt out, and then eventually legs lock. Pop up your chest and start to fold forward, hooking ribs over knees, right? Stomach to thighs, pull, chest to knees, stretch. One day toes and head touch. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. Just visualize the spine lengthening. Good, change. Come on up, stay seated for spine twist. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee so the sole of your right foot is flat on the floor, big toe pointing forward. Right hand close behind you, left hand up and over. Grab your left hand, pardon me, grab your left knee with your left hand, hand to your knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder and twist. You can keep your right hand behind you or take it off the floor, grab your hip, your waistband one day, wrap your right hand behind you and grab left thigh with right hand for a half bind. Point your left toes, keep your left knee down to the floor, right big toe on the floor. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor. You can also have your right leg straight out in front of you. Left hand close behind you, right arm up and over, making the rotation, grab right knee with right hand, hand, heel, and knee touch. Um, look down, and if you're like sitting on your right foot, slide it out of the way, roll to the left, evenly distribute your body weight on both sit bones. Inhale, stretch up, abdomen in, exhale, look over your left shoulder and twist. You can keep your left hand behind you or do the half bind, keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open, inhale, stretch up, exhale, pull your abdomen into the twist, look over your left shoulder, twist, 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 good, change, unwind, turn around, Savasana. So we begin the 26 and two sequence with a posture exhaling through the mouth and we end class full circle with another posture exhaling through the mouth. So we start and finish focusing on lung health. What a delight. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. And all the sit-ups are kind of preparation for this final breathing. When you sit up, you go, <sighs> right? And you don't really think about the inhale, it just kind of happens. Same thing here, you're gonna exhale through your mouth. <sighs> As you exhale through your mouth, you'll snap your abdomen in. <sighs> and when the stomach relaxes, the lungs just automatically take in air. It's pretty nifty. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up tall, arms straight, fingers together, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun, here we go. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up tall. If it hurts to sit on your feet, don't do it. Sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce, but every once in a while, try to sit on your feet. Fingers together, arms straight, chest up, shoulders down, away we go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. 
Honor yourself, give yourself hugs. High five, pat on the back, turn around, final savasana. Close your eyes, open your arms and legs. If you need to go, I totally understand. If you have time, make time. Time is one of our biggest currencies today, right? How we spend our time is a big part of our values. And you know, a lot of our time, like unfortunately, like we don't get to fully choose, right? It's like we're spending time at work or maybe with our kids or whatever that is. Um, but you got to choose to take care of yourself today, right? And when you put that out there, when you put out like, hey, I'm gonna spend an hour practicing yoga, not only are you telling yourself that you think you're worth it, but you're also kind of telling other people in your life, like it's worth it for me to take a valuable hour out of my day to focus on yoga, right? And by extension, really focus on yourself because that's, that's what this is really about. It's not about yoga. It's not even really about like stretching your hamstrings. It's really about you and taking some time for you. And you took some time for you today and nobody can take that away from you, right? So if later tonight, like especially even the sun setting, you know, a little earlier and stuff like that, if you just find yourself a little bit sad, a little bit like schlumpy, just take a moment and just, you know, think back to a moment in class where you really felt your heartbeat or your body moving and nobody can take that accomplishment away from you, right? So just take a moment appreciating all that you did today. Slow inhale, appreciating all that your body did for you. Slow exhale. You are so very alive. 